on. Welcome President Dunn and friends from Oklahoma Wesleyan University. What a delight it is to join with you in this manner. Although we would much prefer to be on your beautiful campus and in that gorgeous chapel uh, that I had an opportunity to be in a few months back. Um, we would rather be there with you, but in light of our recent challenges of COVID, this was the best means we could have to be have a formal signing, a formal and uh, public presentation of the signing of our document and the expression of this beautiful partnership that we've been able to uh, form between Oklahoma Wesleyan and Wesley Seminary. So thank you for joining us today. And thank you more importantly for the work that you all have done and the effort that you have put forward so that we could bring to completion this partnership. Let me take just a moment to introduce myself and our team and then President Dunn would love to have you introduce yourself and your role and your team as well to our audience today. My name is Colleen Dirk and I serve as president of Wesley Seminary. I've been with Wesley for 10 years now and have been in this role for the last four and it is a pleasure to be able to uh, lead the denomination seminary in this way and in this time. Dr. Joseph? Uh, my name is Absalom Joseph. I'm the Vice President of Academic Affairs for Wesley Seminary and have been in this role since 2018. Uh, I'm Aaron Wilkinson. I'm the Vice President of Operations and Enrollment and Absalom and I started on the same day back in 2018. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> and Dr. Lee, would you like to introduce yourself as well? Hi, everybody. This is Ayan Lee, Assistant Professor of Pastoral Care at Wesley Seminary. I joined Wesley Seminary in 2019. So this is my second year. Glad President, to be joining this group. President Dunn, would you share with us and introduce your team? Absolutely. Great to be with you today and uh, join with you in a momentous day of partnership and uh, Christian brotherhood and sisterhood in uh, developing leaders and pastors and Christian workers. And so my name is Jim. I serve as president of Oklahoma Wesleyan University and I'm delighted to be joined by two of my colleagues today. I'll allow them, uh, Dr. Weider and Dr. Van Kuyken, to introduce themselves and we're all grateful to be here with you today virtually. It is really great to be with you. Uh, my name is Mark Weeder. I'm the provost of Oklahoma Wesleyan University. Uh, this is my third year. I've been with the university since actually 1986, uh, before probably some of my colleagues here on the stage were born uh, and have served many different roles, including Jim, as he said, Jim's professor, but dean of the School of Ministry for over a decade. And the, in the provost office, this is my ending up my third year. I'm Jerome Van Kuyken, and I uh, took over from Dr. Weeder as the Dean of the School of Ministry and Christian Thought. This is my 10th year at Oklahoma Wesleyan University serving in the School of Ministry. Wonderful. Wonderful to meet you in this way at this time. Jerome and Absent, perhaps you could talk to us a little bit about the process sure. that you went through and how we were able to get to this day. Yes. yes. Um, it's been a wonderful opportunity to work with uh, Jerome and Oklahoma Western University in terms of uh, looking at the way in which we can provide pathway or pathways for students who are called to ministry to have smooth transition from their undergraduate program to their graduate programs uh, here at Western Seminary. It took us about nine to 12 months uh, to land where we, where we finally landed. And uh, it was a great way for me to learn more about uh, Oklahoma Western University and, and, the, and the program. And there was this moment of, if you'll allow me, this moment where the light bulb went on. We were reviewing the global studies uh, curriculum. And um, I'm from Haiti, my wife is from uh, Russia. And most of the missionaries that we knew, people that are really close friends to us, they all graduated from Oklahoma Western University. <laughs> And I share that moment with Dr. Van Kuyken when I'm looking through the curriculum and I could see what made these students, what made these friends, who they were. Oh. And, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I was like, I can see this program in the friends that we have made over the years who are just 
great missionaries who have uh, invested in our lives and become really good friends. So it was a pleasure to actually then work with Macau Online and be able to do this for the students of the future. Yes. Uh, well, really, all that I would say is that it was a wonderfully collegial and collaborative uh, effort, and uh, it, I think that it went quite smoothly and was grateful uh, for the warm reception and interaction that I had with Wesley Seminary in general and uh, with Dr. Joseph in particular. Excellent. Well, thank you. And thank you for the effort that you put forward. Um, I know that the hours you have to invest, so go through all those documents and to uh, come together and say, how do these overlap and how do they complement one another um, is not uh, insignificant. And so thank you for what you have invested. It is just a treat for Wesley to have this day and this moment where we can say, we have this formal partnership with Oklahoma Wesleyan. What it means to us is the recognition of the incredible work that you already do in investing in the lives of Christian leaders, marketplace ministers and vocational ministers who have come to your university and have spent their years in undergraduate preparation with you and the ways that you have formed them academically and spiritually. And we say, we want to come alongside and build on that. There is nothing that we need to replicate that you have already done. You have already moved them so far down the road in their formation and their development. And let us just complement that. How can we build on that for the sake of the students so that we can perhaps shorten their seminary walk and, and education so that the investment they have to make financially can be lessened and that burden lessened for them to honor and respect the work that you all have done and the investment the students have already made in their academic career. And for us to say, we are brothers and sisters in Christ, yes, and we are Wesleyans. Uh, and Wesleyans together, and so, although we may be embedded in one school, we are the seminary that wants to serve all the schools. And so this provides us an opportunity to be able to say to your students, you belong here too, um, and to create a smooth pathway for them. So we are just thrilled in this moment in time to be able to welcome Oklahoma Wesleyan students and to throw out the red carpet uh, and to make their change and transition from Oklahoma Wesleyan to Wesley Seminary as smooth as possible. So thank you all for helping us be able to do this on their behalf. Well, thank you, Colleen, and to your colleagues and to your board of trustees and to uh, all involved. And Oklahoma Wesleyan comes with our heart out in an agreement like this. And there's a few terms that I love that you used. And um, some of the terms you'll be used to from other days when our pathways crossed. But uh, when you think about opportunities, you think about developing leaders, you think about the mission critical element of preparing Christian workers and pastors and global people that are engaged around the world for the cause of Christ. Um, there are many ideas and many things that come, but to give the opportunity for the saints of God to be equipped is something that all of us are interested in and keenly aware of and wanting that to be as deep and as solid as can be so that we can be as good as can be to, as our university likes to say, and I'm sure you do as well, to advance the kingdom of Jesus Christ is why we exist. And so uh, developing in a Wesleyan holistic way, the head, the heart, the hands and the habits are what we're about here. And we're delighted to be able to uh, link arms with Wesley and be a part of advancing the kingdom and providing uh, further education, further development, further equipping. And um, one of the one of the just pieces of who we are is that every graduate here at commencement receives a penny, and mm -hmm. they receive they receive a diploma too if they finish. But anyway, they receive a penny. And uh, I just finished meeting with some prospective students today. We give them a penny on their campus tour. And it, at, at commencement, my wife actually hands the pennies to each graduate in a post-COVID world, that is. 
<laughs> and it comes in a little coin holder, has a little school logo on it. We ask our graduates to look at a penny every day and we ask them to consider the prayer, God, how do you want me to be one cent? The tail side of a penny says one cent. I know it's spelled differently, so thank you for those who observed that, but we want them to be one cent. We want them to be sent into this culture to make a difference for Christ, and whether they're a ministry major or a nursing major or an education major, uh, if it next step is to continue their education or their step at some point in time to do that, even at great uh, institutions like Wesley Seminary, it's what we want to encourage wherever they go, just to let their light shine for Christ and to be one sent. So we're pleased to be able to uh, formalize this agreement and uh, we'll be making sure that our students here know about the opportunity on how they can be further equipped to advance the kingdom. Wonderful, amen. Thank you, Dr. Dunn, and it is, uh, it is a great delight then in this moment to do the formal signing uh, of this shared document and shared commitment to the investment uh, in Christian leaders and the equipping and the continuing equipping of the Christian leaders. I believe you have your own uh, copy. I do. Oh, excellent. And so we'll take this moment uh, to do the official sign. Thank you, friends. You're welcome. You're I welcome. Thank you. Be able to reach across the desk and shake your hand. <laughs> we, can bump, we can bump knuckles. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> we have had many good years together, uh, Jim and I, and he gave wonderful leadership to me during many formational years of my own life. Um, you have been a pastor to me. You have been uh, a leader, uh, a boss. Uh, you were my DBMD coach through my organization process. Uh, you have had significant impact on my own personal formation. And I know the incredible impact that you are making at Oklahoma Wesleyan and the leadership that you are giving there. And just thankful for you. The legacy of your family, I know today is a day you're celebrating the one year anniversary of your father's passing. Mm -hmm. And the Dunn legacy in the Wesleyan church is incredible. And we are all thankful and we have all been blessed by your family. So thank you for continuing. And this is just another small way um, that that is continuing. So thank you. We're privileged to be a part of that today, Jim. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's our honor. And uh, it's great to be able to cross paths with you personally and also in ecclesiology again and again and again. And uh, it is, it is family. And whether you have a name attached to that or not, and our dads were great friends and so they're, they're somewhere looking down. If, if, they, uh, if I can have my own theology of what heaven is like, uh, they're somewhere looking down and smiling. And uh, you're a great leader, Colleen. So keep going forward. And uh, as my father would pray uh, for me many, many times, and even did the day before. So February 2nd, 2020 is the last time he prayed this for me was just set so in this case, set Colleen and set Wesley Seminary in a large place for your kingdom. And that's the prayer I grew up with as a little boy and uh, hear that voice today and want to continue to pray that over the people. The kingdom is large and it's not for our sake, but for his, that uh, we can influence many for the good of the gospel. So yeah. God bless you. Jerome, would you be willing to pray a prayer of blessing over this partnership? Certainly. Let's pray together. Lord, how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell together in unity. We thank you for what this day signifies. We thank you for the institutions, higher education that you have placed each of us in, in order to minister, in order to serve people and raise up leaders and servants for your kingdom work. And so we thank you for uh, this agreement that we have signed that binds our two institutions closer together in fellowship and in service, fulfilling the mission that you have called us to. 
We pray your rich blessing on both of our institutions and especially on President Durr and President Dunn as they lead. Lord, fill them with your spirit of wisdom and courage as they lead us forward into the future that you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Great to Thank be you. with you. Great being with you as well. And someday, and hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll be able to make a trip out and be with you all. Look forward to having you. You're always welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.